Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The big SBC that everybody was waiting for dropped yesterday on FC24, but there's actually two SBCs that so many users on this game are actually taking part in and doing right now. Plus, the market seems primed for a rise today, and we have to especially talk about SBC fodder, where that has gone up, where that has gone down, and where it might be going today. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's start with yesterday's content. A little bit of objective action with a cup, guys. They like to drop the cups now, it seems, on the second week of these two-week promos. Guys, I think this cup might not be worth it. You do get a couple packs, but it's the quality of the packs. And especially since we're towards the end of the season, I completed the season yesterday, hit level 40. I don't need XP anymore. If really, this is for the packs and the player pick that you get at the end. And to me, those rewards are just maybe not it. You can play four games a day. I don't know if I'm going to play this cup, guys. I'm going to be completely honest. I might focus on evolutions and just getting my rivals games in this week and not play that cup because yeah, it's nice. It is a couple packs, but personally, I don't know if I'm with it. We also had a mini release yesterday featuring, well, really just one card, Mares. I mean, there were other cards released. There were um, four in total, but Mares is the only one that is not this card. This is actually a decent item. They gave him uh, above 80 pace for the first time compared to his gold card. He has the playstyle plus four pinged pass. He's got finesse shot, technical, flare, and first touch. And he's only about 40,000 coins. So if you run a Saudi team, you want some five-star skills action there. Mares is on the market. A couple MLS cards that dropped yesterday as well that are discard. Um that they added to the game as well they dropped a store pack which was 215k i think yeah 215k store pack which is 40 rare golds i even what are the probabilities in this 11 percent of a trailblazers player which is actually still low compared to some of the other pack weights we have seen this year and then that was that was all the content basically everywhere about the sbcs decent sunday to be completely honest especially when we look at this sbc content and this is what everybody is talking about first of all the first sbc that a lot of people are doing is iago aspas flashback guys ea actually dropped a w sbc with this card in my opinion three star skills is the biggest downfall of this card in my opinion four star weak foot's great he's left footed he's high high and it's the finesse shot plus play style that he has along with chip shot dead ball incisive pass and trivella and the price is the best part it is only Three sections to complete this, which would be a lot off the top of your mind. But 83, 84, 85 squads is coming in at 80k, a W. Because this is a card that is usually not usable. We talked about it when the leak happened and when he was uh, first talked about. He's usually not usable in Ultimate Team, right? EA made his card usable by giving him the arguably most overpowered playstyle plus on the game, the finesse shot. And the price is great. Um, you know, this is one that it really just seems like a fun SBC to me. That's why I'm a big fan of it. And a lot of people are doing it. Actually, if we take a look at Footbin. It is a 70% upvoted SBC. This is a great card for a good value price. And it fits in a lot of you guys' teams, I'm assuming, because it's a La Liga. And it is a flashback. The card design is sick. So I don't want to rave too much about it because it is, it's a nice SBC. It's not a must-do it's probably a must-do if you have those links, if La Liga links, if you have Spanish links, um, and you want a different striker for your team that can use those finesse shots from outside of the box. It is a nice one for that. I'm just a fan of when EA makes SBCs that are for players that you could put into your team, and they are meta, and they're cheap. And that's my biggest W, I guess, to describe the Aspas flashback sbc so that's a very fun one from ea big fan about that one and it's out for it's out for 30 days as well so you got plenty of time to do it if you want to craft that card now let's talk icons guys because ea dropped the big sbc this is the one that really everybody is doing because they dropped the sbc at a price that people think is good and i'm gonna i'm gonna test that i'm gonna test that guys because I said in yesterday's video that I didn't want this SBC to be any more than 100,000 coins because of the players that are in this pack. Now, 100k, probably too cheap, right? Icon SBCs are always more expensive than hero SBCs. It's 120, or it was 120 straight away. It's now 140,000 coins for the max 87 icon upgrade. Guys, the reason why this is hyped is because 140k is not that much in the grand scheme of things. And it's only two squads and it's the first icon upgrade of the year it's the perfect storm for this sbc to have a lot of hype but in my opinion 
I think this is a very mid SBC just because of the player pool. We know the cards that are in it, right? I We opened a bunch of these yesterday on the second channel. I'll leave a link to that video at the end of this video so you can go check that one out. But the pack weight on here, since it is a cheaper SBC, the pack weight's not very good. You're not consistently hitting those Fernando Torres or the Macaleles or um, even some of the middle tier cards that are decent. They're like Sol Campbell. We only saw a couple of him. There's a lot of the Verone, a lot of the Rush. Uh, a lot of the Ian Wrights. So that's the biggest problem with that SBC is that the pack weight's not amazing, which you can't expect it to be. But really, it's just at a price where, personally, with the fodder that I have right now, and let's be honest, guys, in, in better terms, fodder is precious on this game with all the other SBCs that we have out that you could do right now. I'd rather put an 85 and 86 rated squad into Declan Rice for a card that goes boom straight into my team than risk an 85 and 86 squad on somebody who could go into my team or who might just fall behind the, the certain uh, level that my team is at. Now, I know some of you guys are at different levels, and maybe all the icons would go into your team or at least be a usable super sub for you. And then in that case, maybe it's worth it. But for me, I would rather work on Declan Rice or an icon that would be better than most of them in the SBC anyway, Laurent Blanc. Like, this is an icon that's really incredible, and you could save that fodder to put into this instead of the icon pack. But as we mentioned... A lot of people are doing it. I mean, you see it, 76% upvote. The fodder tells the story, right? If you ever want to know if people are doing an SBC, just look at the market. It tells the whole story. 84s are actually up, but 85s, 86s, and 87s are up a lot because everybody is doing this SBC. It's the first icon of the year. A lot of people invested for it. And of course, it drops during the weekend when weekendly rewards are being paid out and people have the fodder from those rewards and maybe some coins from rewards to go ahead and do it. Now, if I had 85s to 87s, I'd actually include 84s in this as well. I would think about selling just because they had a nice rise yesterday. This is the peak demand for the players that are going to be needed for this SPC. One thing I'm noticing, they did this with the hero pack as well. The icon upgrade is only out for two more days. It's very short time frames for these upgrade packs. Like the hero upgrade went away on Wednesday. I think this is going to be going away either on Tuesday or Wednesday as well. I don't know if it's two days, 23 hours or just, you know, two days. Um, but I think I would sell the 84s to 87s, guys, because they really had a big jump in price. You can see 87 Modric was 16, 17K. And all these cards went to about 19K in the first hour, second hour after the SBC dropped. And you know, some of this fodder might go up a bit today after weekendly rewards gets paid out, people get coins, they go into the SBC. But I have to think that for the lower tier of fodder, which gets supplied more, this is like the first time or second time the 84s have not been discarded. They're up to 1.5, 1.6K. That's the sort of stuff. Um, but it's specifically the 85s to 87s, I would take the coins there just because again, like I said, we're in the peak of the demand. So that's that part of the fodder market. We'll talk about more fodder here in just a minute. How did it impact the rest of the market? We talked about in yesterday's video that I didn't expect icons to go up in value after the SBC like Heroes did last week. And that pretty much happened. A couple cards had some rises here or there, but especially like Fernando Torres, I think he maybe went up like 20 or 30K. Yeah, right now he's 820 and he was 800 before the SBC came out. So a slight rise or honestly just a normal fluctuation on a lot of the icons. There really wasn't a bunch of market movement there because the SBC didn't create a whole bunch of panic selling in the first place. Now, the rest of the market is where there was actually a good bit more movement in terms of prices. Now, gold cards, of course, as a lot of people maybe needed to go and buy fodder to do this SBC, right? Gold cards on the market took a hit. A lot of your meta golds, people were selling players in their clubs from their teams to go and do this SBC. If you take a look at a lot of prices yesterday, De Jong is a player that had a big drop off right after content when this SBC was, was released. This is a very common graph for a lot of golds, especially on yesterday's game. 52K for De Jong in that first hour, he dropped down to 45K. It shows 44. He was actually like 42 in the first like 30 minutes when all the panic selling was hitting and everybody was logging onto the game because, oh my goodness, it's hype. The first icon pack of the year. Like, De Young was 42K. Um, I think Rashford was like 160. Like, all of these prices on golds now are up just a little bit. Obviously, you can see the graph that these prices dropped off, right? Tonali was 59.60K. He went all the way down to 51. A lot of these prices were either at their lowest or 
darn near their lowest, like in that first hour. Um, and then people really started to go and buy back and people saw the price drops and they went to go invest because people expected these card prices to bounce back, which I fully expect as well. And as you're looking around the market today, we'll talk about it in a minute. If you're looking for some buys, these are the types of cards that I would be the most interested in. Those golds that dropped off a lot yesterday that could potentially rise as people get rewards, rewards today and go back out to the market. But it was honestly like very similar to the fluctuation that we saw last Sunday on the market when the hero pack came out too. It was the market got panic sold a bunch right after the SBC came out and then prices started to rebound back and they rebounded back very nicely into Monday morning, which would be the same situation we were hoping for today. But the reason the prices went down in the first place, just to kind of under make you guys understand it and explain it is People sell cards to go and buy fodder to do the SBC and to be able to afford it, right? That's why the whole situation was created. And it did make a really good buy window, which still are some prices low enough. As you can see, I don't have very many coins. I've put a lot of my coins into cards because I'm expecting a rise today. And that's what I want to talk about next. What do we need to look for? What cards are going to rise back? Well, of course, cards that maybe people had to sell yesterday to go buy fodder to build the SBCs, you know, they might go get their weekend league rewards today and go get some coins from those and go back on the market, right? And buy some of those players back. Rafael Varane was actually like 75K. His graph was crazy. He went from 85K. When this SBC first came out, he was 74, 75K on Snipe. It was very difficult to get him. He got bought all the way back up to 81,000 coins. And then right now he's around 79 to 80,000 coins. The types of cards that I would want to look at for a market rise today are the normal cards that we see rise on a monday on any given week right your most popular gold meta items that people are be be buying putting into their teams i would also say that this time around you could look into some trailblazers from team two last week trailblazers team one was their cheapest on like the sunday to monday time frame and a lot of these cards I think uh, since they're so tough to pack, guys, you've already seen some of them rise up, like Rabo's 197, Marquinhos 400K, um, Cancelo's up like 15 to 20K from where he was. These prices are starting to rise a little bit. I think they could continue to rise today into Monday, and I'm not expecting a big content day, but people are going to get coins from rewards as always and want to go try these cards out. So I think there's great opportunities on the market for gold cards that you could buy today or in the early hours around weekend league rewards for trailblazers team one team two anything that's out of packs is fair game as well if it's down enough in value i'd be careful with griezmann he's probably getting an inform this week which will be a lot cheaper than this trailblazers card uh so i'd be actually very careful careful with griezmann i don't know if i would buy that version of his card the gold griezmann is probably good to get on snipe um because he is out of packs for uh, or he's in packs, he might go out of packs on Wednesday because he got a hat trick yesterday, and a lot of people are expecting him uh, to go up because of that. But a really big part of the market that I'm watching, invested in right now, and also a lot of people are watching is Road to the Knockouts because we have Champions League, Europa League, Conference League games this week, and these cards are really starting to take off, and I think they're going to rise even more today as we get closer and closer to the competitions that are coming. Kalulu is still down a bit. Um, I look across this market and I see a lot of prices that are just slowly starting to creep up there. Um, I actually picked up an Osaman. Um, Osaman's a really, really, really rare card from Team 1. That's something to remember that Team 1 is a lot more rare than Team 2, but both Team 1 and Team 2 are rising incredibly nice. Modric is almost 400,000 coins. I mean, he's right there, guys. Crazy how much he has gone up just in the past couple of days. I know he's really overpowered in game. Probably the Iago Aspas helps out his card a little bit. And Madrid already having one win. All stuff that you have to consider when looking at these Road to the Knockouts. I'm not saying these are great investments right now because they're already up. But these cards are rare and they're live. And I think they are still going to rise into today, into tomorrow, and on Wednesday and Thursday before these guys start playing their games. I think they will still have potential to rise. So I don't think we have to worry about selling them yet. We'll probably think about that more so tomorrow. But I do think that these can continue to rise. So if you see low prices anywhere there, any dips on informs that are out of packs as well, especially if you think about like, ooh, Valverde, 855, that's a little bit low for him. Kingsley Coman is one that I bought yesterday. That Giroud's actually pretty cheap for 14K. Usually I think he's like 15 to 16. Team of the week two, I bought a Harry Kane yesterday. That's a low price for Harry Kane, 127. He's usually around 140. And if his Trailblazers card is going to be rising today, 
um, as people want to go and try it out. If you can get this Harry Kane, I don't have enough coins right now, but if you can get him for like 125, he sells really nice at like 137 to 140 with good chem styles. Um, that sort of stuff, I would be watching for today for a market rise. And guys, Mondays are usually pretty quiet, so we might not have to sell our cards before content. We could continue to hold. Now, the only thing I have a little bit, I guess, of skepticism around the market today is it's it seems very, it's like we've turned a corner since Saturday, right? Saturday was big time panic. Prices were dropping everywhere and it was big time pain, right? And that was really caused by a lot of people just panicking and seeing the prices drop and then listing and undercutting and all of that. It seems like the market is stronger now, but I think there are a lot of people investing today. That's the only problem that I have right now with the market is that everybody is investing for today. And if there is anything to come out, let's say EA or not EA, but let's say like Foot Sheriff leaks the next promo and there's a lot of hype for it because we're going to get new icons, um, new versions of icons supposedly as a part of the Centurions promo, which is next. I'm not expecting leaks today, but leaks came very early last week. So I'm a little bit worried that there could be some sort of situation like that, but the chances of that happening are pretty slim. That's why I'm kind of, you know, all in with my coins right now on the market one thing i do want to point out with the fodder market once again is a part of the part of the fodder market that you might be able to invest in today with rewards guys i'm talking about the 88s and above because they are down and they're starting to rise a little bit take a look at 90 kareem the dream benzema yesterday since the icon pack didn't require any of this high rated gold stuff and maybe people were just doing less of you know the hyunmin sun or maybe the blanc sbc with the 88 rated squads in it Benzema went from 57k all the way down to 50,000 coins. And guys, I think after rewards today, people are still doing the Benzema. People are still doing the Blanc. Some of those SBCs that require higher rated squads. I think Benzema and Lewandowski, as you can see, their prices are like low 50s. If you can get those guys at like 50k flat or 51,000 coins, I think they will rise today. Same thing maybe with 88s and 89s. Now, I think 89s have started to go back up. Yeah, they were about 37k. They were 41k yesterday in the early hours. I'm not saying they're going all the way back to 41,000 coins. I'm just saying people are going to get coins from rewards and go and buy some fodder. So watch the 88s and above part of the market for maybe a rise and a bounce back with rewards today as well if you want to be trading in and out of that. But today should be, honestly, as it normally is on Mondays, a pretty quiet day. We have a cup. We have multiple SBCs that EA have released. We have the icon pack, of course, that EA put out. So people are going to be grinding towards that. I really just think that today's content, what we have to watch out for the most is probably the upgrade SBCs. And the only thing that would create a lot of hype or a lot of maybe even panic, I, I doubt it would create a ton of panic, would be the first player pick upgrade of the year, which we have not had player picks yet. All we have had are the a 78 plus and an 80 plus we had the 80 plus two weeks in a row i bet they switch it up this week but i don't know what they're going to switch it up with so i'm very curious to see what that could be stock as always if you want to a couple of gold commons in your club that would be a very easy thing to do and if we do get player picks today then i think gold commons or rares could potentially um, move up because player picks player picks are more hyped than packs 100 percent people go bananas for those you can see gold non-rares are 350 right now like almost into selling on the market anyway but it might be a decent idea to stock a couple of those in your club if you would like to and then yeah for for the rest of content today i'm not expecting too much else i know we had i think it was blanc last week on a monday and still when we had that sbc the market did pretty well we don't have any leaks for an icon sbc today uh we already have two i don't know if they're gonna drop anything else especially before we get to another promo that is going to somehow include icons in it, Foot Centurions. So that's, honestly, guys, the outlook for today is not a lot. I mean, upgrade packs, maybe they'll drop some sort of like 84 double or an 85 plus pack. We wanted one of those last week and we didn't get one. But if they do something along those lines that might move some of your lower tier fodder um, even further up, like imagine they drop an 85 plus pack today that get, requires like an 84 squad and like 185 or 186 rated player, which wouldn't be good value, but people would still do it, you know, and then 84s would potentially go up in value some more. That sort of thing could happen today. I'm just thinking out loud for potential content for today. But honestly, 
Um, I can show you what I have in my transfer list right now. Yesterday was a good day. I've started to flip some more icons. Um, yesterday on Sunday, some prices rose into the morning as well. I bought all these Tamoris for 40,000 coins with shadows, sold them for 45K. I do have a couple road to the knockouts. I've got Sissoko there. Um, I still have my Awars, still have a Klaus. I picked up an Inform Conte and a Mkhitaryan at pretty low prices to flip. Um, I picked up a Ward Prowse at 55, or yeah, no, 35K. Gaia at 55. Rickon that I got at like 17k. Don't know why I had that. And then a couple golds, uh, some Diani, some Rodman, a couple Alfonso Davies for like 21,000 coins. Hoping that we have a decent market rise today, which I am fully expecting, because uh, weekend league rewards. That's all that really needs to be said, right? As as long as there's not too much over investing, we should be good to go with that. Really quickly, I gotta finish champs. I don't know if I'm gonna get all my games in. It's been a good start, but uh, we did have yesterday. I finished the season as I mentioned. My 86 times three pack hit me one of my best untradeable pack pulls of the year, Eder Militao. This guy is nuts. He is so good. I also got Ederson in the same pack. So I was hoping that I would get good fodder for the icon pack, which I was maybe considering doing. Instead, I got two players that go boom straight in my team. So uh, this is the current team as it sits right now. And once I finish Declan Rice, he's probably going to slot in for uh, Mahmood. This guy's a tank, bro. He's so good. But um, he's only in there right now so I can get the um, objectives completed for using the evolution players in my squad. And then, uh, yeah, Declan Rice is going to come in there. And then after that, we'll see. I'm thinking about working on Blanc, but we have a lot of time to do that. I, I could maybe get coerced into doing the Max 87 icon upgrade for fun. But really, that's what it is. It's for fun. And if it's something that's going to fit your team, no matter what it is, or if you want to gamble on it and you have the fodder or you have the coins, by all means, have fun. But just also know and be careful that spending coins on this and putting your fodder into this, there's obviously some opportunity cost where you could be using that stuff elsewhere. So that's going to be a video for today. If you want to see another video of me opening a bunch of these yesterday from the stream, click right here. I'll put it right above. But if you enjoyed this one today, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. See you guys in a video tomorrow. Peace out.